Nuke 13.1 includes updates to Cryptomat and a brand new native version of the Encryptomat node, enabling you to do more with Cryptomats in Nuke 13.1. For Cryptomat, we've introduced a new remove expression using the minus sign, extending the wildcard syntax for the mat list. This allows you to remove Cryptomats from the selection in the mat list, making it easier to make complex mat selections. You can use the remove expression using the minus sign in conjunction with wildcard expressions, allowing you to make sophisticated mat selections in a few lines without having to individually select multiple mats. Nuke 13.1 introduces a native version of the Encryptomat node. The Encryptomat node allows you to encode your own Cryptomats within Nuke. The Encryptomat node takes any alpha input and converts it into a Cryptomat selectable ID which can be selected downstream using the Cryptomat node. The new mat can be merged with existing Cryptomats, optionally being merged over or under them, and can be placed in an existing Cryptomat layer, or a new one can be created in the Encryptomat node. Using Encryptomat as a way to encode custom mats makes it easy to pass mats around and reuse them in your node graph. Encoding your roto or keys as Cryptomats could be a powerful way to bundle up the output of multiple nodes into a single stream, which can easily be used throughout your script or rendered out to share with other people on your team or in different departments. Our extensions to Cryptomat make it faster and easier to work with Cryptomat data. Create your own mats, combine them with existing Cryptomats, and make mat selections with ease. 